Hi everyone, this is Praveen Alwali from the PayPal X Developer Network. In this screencast, I'll show you how you can install the PayPal X Toolkit for the Force.com platform that enables you to integrate with PayPal Adaptive Payments and Adaptive Accounts APIs right from your Force.com apps using the native Apex classes provided by the toolkit. The toolkit is provided as a CodeShare project, which you can find from the CodeShare on developer.force.com. Once you go to the, the toolkit page on CodeShare, you have two options to install it. You can install it through the source code that you can check out from the Google Code project, which is provided as open source. So feel free to download and uh, uh, make any modifications that you would like. Or you can install the package as the through the install button that's provided here. Once you install, once you click on the install button here, you'll go through the, the regular the installation path in installing a package on force.com for your for your developer account. Once you install the, the package, the package provides a couple of important object classes uh, and a couple of Im important tabs that you can use to try and test the APIs. The two important objects that it provides are the PayPal API credentials object and PayPal common request parameters object. The PayPal API credential objects are the way you can configure your PayPal API credentials more securely. You would need the API credentials to authenticate your request to the PayPal service endpoint. So in this case, I've created a sandbox credentials object where I've configured my application ID, my API username, my API user password, and the API signature that I've obtained from the PayPal X Developer Network website, which is developer.paypal.com. The application ID here is obtained from the x.com. The x.com is the developer network where you can obtain all the documentation about the adaptive payments and adaptive accounts APIs. And the developer.paypal.com is the developer central where you can interact with the PayPal sandbox environment to create test accounts and play with the APIs. Once you create the sandbox credential object here, as the API credential object, you can create, you need to create a common request parameters object where you can configure the common elements that apply to all the API calls to PayPal, like the language, the currency code, the fee payer, and the application name. Once you create these two objects, you are set to go. You can either use the, the pay API test tab to, to send a test API call to PayPal and and see the response. In this case, I'll show you how I've implemented the, the storefront from the force.com workbook and how I've added the payments functionality into it using the PayPal X toolkit. If you remember, you might have created a storefront. So in this case, the storefront.cls is where uh, you can calculate the amount of money that the user has to pay for the merchandise that he has selected. And here I'm making a call to, to PayPal, but through this method called send pay request. And the send pay request really uses the toolkit to, to send a pay API request to PayPal. So here I'm creating a PayPal pay request API object, passing in my common parameters, and I'm setting in all the required field like the memo about the transaction, who the receivers of the money are, and who the sender is. And once I do that, I create an adapt to toolkit object and I pass in the API credentials. This toolkit provides a bunch of methods that you can use to make the API calls sent to the PayPal endpoint. The, in this case, I'm calling the toolkit.pay along with the request object. The, the toolkit sends a request to the API endpoint behind the scenes and gives you back a PayPal pay response object. And within the pay response object, you can obtain the status of the payment and based on that, you can uh, do a variety of things. Either you can send the user to PayPal for obtaining authorization for the payment or you can even show a confirmation if the PayPal says the payment has been complete. That's how simple it is.